Section 21 The things necessary to Buddhism are a very mild climate, customs of great gentleness and liberality, and no militarism. Moreover, it must get its start among the higher and better educated classes. Cheerfulness, quiet, and the absence of desire are the chief desiderata, and they are attained. Buddhism is not a religion in which perfection is merely an object of aspiration. Perfection is actually normal. Under Christianity, the instincts of the subjugated and the oppressed come to the fore. It is only those who are at the bottom who seek their salvation in it. Here, the prevailing pastime, the favorite remedy for boredom, is the discussion of sin, self-criticism, the inquisition of conscience. Here, the emotion produced by power, called God, is pumped up by prayer. Here, the highest good is regarded as unattainable, as a gift, as grace. Here, too, open dealing is lacking. Concealment and the darkened room are Christian. Here, body is despised and hygiene is denounced as sensual. The church even ranges itself against cleanliness. The first Christian order after the banishment of the Moors closed the public baths, of which there were 270 in Cordoba alone. Christian, too, is a certain cruelty toward oneself and toward others, hatred of unbelievers, the will to persecute. Somber and disquieting ideas are in the foreground. The most esteemed states of mind, bearing the most respectable names, are epileptoid. The diet is so regulated as to engender morbid symptoms and overstimulate the nerves. Christian, again, is all deadly enmity to the rulers of the earth, to the aristocratic, along with a sort of secret rivalry with them. One resigns one's body to them. One wants only one's soul. And Christian is all hatred of the intellect, of pride, of courage, of freedom, of intellectual libertinage. Christian is all hatred of the senses, of joy in the senses, of joy in general. 